Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what uh, what is an instring function in SQL. So instring function is mainly used to return the position of the given character in a given string. So the difference between instring and substring is where the substring will give you the the part of the string that is we call a substring. That's why we call it a substring. Whereas the instring will just return the position. That is, uh, it will return zero if the you know if the character matches or else it will return 1 uh, if there is no any uh, I mean if the, there are more than uh, 1 matching so only the 0 or 1 will be the you know the output of the in string so we will uh, start with the example here so let me say select e name then the function in str then I am going to pass a few parameters here like um, first is the column name then I want this will be the character that I want to search for I will just mention it as a I want to search for the character a in the employee string then this is just the column it is not a string here e name is the column in which I want to search for the character A. Then third parameter is um, from where you want to begin the search. If you say 2 it will start from second character. If you say 3 it will start from third character. So let me mention it as 1. Then the fourth parameter is nothing but from whether you, if I say 1 it will consider the first occurrence itself. If A is found in the first time then it will return uh, the position of the A based on the first occurrence. If I say 2, it will ignore the first occurrence and it will search for the second occurrence uh, of A in the respective string. So, I will just mention it as 1. Okay. So, this is what is the how the uh, in, in string will work. So, here my requirement is select star from emp where this instring the same thing uh, as I said the function name here I am passing the column e name column then I want to search for a character a in from the beginning that is 1 and in the first occurrence itself ok. So now and it should be greater than 0 if this if the where clause returns true wherever um, the you know instring returns is it like where as I said the instring will return 1 or else 0 the where it will return 1 is whenever it finds a character called a then it will return 1 so those only those records will be displayed for me right now so when I say greater than 0 you can see only the records where um, the character a is found in e name is returned so in Allen you can see when it started searching from uh, the first character there itself a is present so it has um, passed this uh, record then ward also you can see a is there martin blake everywhere so now when i say in string this uh, function is equal to 0 that means where the a character is not there only those records so you can see all the records where the a character is not at all present in the string only those records are given out here so you can see the last name Radhika. This A is a smaller case, so that's why it hasn't considered the. It's a as I said, it's a case sensitive, so it hasn't considered the lower case letter. So as I uh, will just make uh, changes here. We'll make it as two, and we'll make it as greater than zero. So now, when you see only one record is given up. When here. When I say the first occurrence, there were seven records. When I say the second occurrence, only one record is there. That means when the string is searched um, in the beginning, Adams, the first occurrence A is already there. So it will ignore the first occurrence and it will search for the second occurrence. So there is another one A here. So when it found this um, second occurrence, the this record is passed and that's why we are getting this output. Whereas the other records does not have, uh, you know, double A's like you can see Blake it's having only one A there's no second occurrence here so this is how uh, you can make use of the in string function hope you have understood this uh, in string function
सो द्वरीज प्लीज़ लेट मी नो एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग